And of course, now we move on to the masks. This is, uh, let's see here, Evil Zombie, alright, as if there's any other kind, but fair enough. And then you got Skeleton, of course. We've got uh, Jigsaw here, and of course we've got Freddy Krueger right here. Although this this is a better Freddy Krueger, I'd say. Um, the Predator from the new Predators movie, which was awesome, by the way. I just actually watched it last night. Predators was pretty damn sweet. Um, but yeah, it's a nice mask. Um, I guess this is the Joker from... Uh, um, Obviously, The Dark Knight. I don't really think you can make face paint into a mask very well, so I'm not a big fan of that one. Uh, some skulls back there. The Whisper. I'm assuming that said Whisper or something like that. I don't know. But that's pretty cool looking. Uh, and, of course, we've got, you know, uh, Michael Myers here. Quite a few of those, actually. Quite a few different ones. Uh, pretty cool looking werewolf here. That's pretty awesome looking. Um, Gaping Wraith. Gaping Wraith, I guess. That's pretty sweet. And um, this dude, I don't know, some sort of pumpkin monster or something. And Mr. Steroid. Whatever that means, I have no idea, but holy crap. And uh, you got to have at least one evil, horrific clown, and here's one. He's got a brain instead of a red nose. Nice. Um, let's see what else here. Oh, that's another Joker. Oh, these are the Joker's uh, minions. Like the little, the ones that were robbing the bank with him at the beginning, I suppose. Streaks clown. Huh? Yep. And uh, oh, a very, a very nice, a very good-looking pinhead. Actually, that's a pretty good quality mask. That's, uh, pretty nice. Okay, I really like this mask. It's, um, pump, pumpkin, punk and deluxe mask. And that one looks pretty cool. I like that one a lot. Here's some, uh, there's a bunch of masks that come with, uh, hands as well. Uh, a couple of different werewolves, wolf mask and gray wolf mask. Um, and then over here there's a gorilla and a zombie so that's cool they come with a little extra there and then there's a bunch of just separate hands werewolf hands uh, stuff like that and now we're moving on to the kids costume starting with Freddy Krueger I don't really know if you want your what is this age what age is this for let's see well it's for pretty young I don't know if you'd want your kid dress I mean I don't know. That's not a kid's movie by far. I don't know about that one. Kind of a fail, if you ask me. Ghostbusters, yes. I totally would... I would have loved to have that. Look at it. It comes with the backpack and everything. Wow. That's pretty sweet, actually. I like that. And then there's a costume based on the biggest fail movie of the year, Clash of the Titans. Or one of them, anyway. Then we've got Ghostface down there. Again, not sure if your kid should be dressing up as that. A Native American bow and arrow set, alright. A Bakugan costume, I know nothing about Bakugan, never watched it in my life, I don't know much about it at all. Oh, look at that, you can be a UPS driver. Product placement, yes. Uh, Ben 10, again, something I never really paid attention to. Uh, Spongebob, huh? Yeah, got a, there's always a Spongebob costume. Um, there's, uh, Mr. Potato Head, and, uh, Handy Manny, someone I've never heard of in my life. No clue who that is at all. Apparently it's someone from Disney, though. And we've got, uh, Avatar costumes here, James Cameron's Avatar. We've got Jake Sully, of course. Um, oh, look at this. There's, like, their staff spear thing that they had in the movie. That's cool. Um... And then, of course, here's Natiri. I guess that's Natiri. Um, <laughs> and then we've got a bunch of generic, like, spirit costumes, like store brand, like uh, Unknown Phantom, which is basically a black hoodie and red eyes already. High Seas Buccaneer, which is apparently different than a pirate. Huh? Yeah, big difference there. And uh, 
little rock star, little rock star, oh, little, little rock star. No T in there. These costumes are actually pretty sweet. Uh, Iron Man 2, um, obviously this is Iron Man, and then they've got War Machine over here. Um, yeah, those are pretty, actually pretty nice costumes there, so that's a win, I'd say. And then there's several different, several different Spider-Man costumes here. Uh, Spider-Man and Friends, I guess. I don't know what that is, but here's a, a Spider-Man, and then here's a third one down here. Uh, so we've got Spider-Man and Friends, The Amazing Spider-Man, and just Spider-Man. What is the distinction? No idea. A couple, a couple of uh, G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra costumes there. Um, who the heck is this? Dinosaur train. Buddy. No clue. No idea. Um, Superman. Another Clash of the Titans. Uh, Batman stuff. A couple of different Batman costumes. Transformers. That's interesting. Uh, see, there's Bumblebee and Optimus Prime, of course. Um, and then... Um, Let's see what we got over here. There's like a Spartan, I guess it's like Spartan armor or something like that. Hippy Dippy Boy. All right. Hercules. Pirate Captain. We already saw that one. Gangster. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This one is so much fail. It's hilarious to me. Rapsta. He's not a gangster. He's a rapsta. And it's got, it's got the fake tattoo sleeve. And the dollar chain, and oh, so much fail if you ask me. A rapsta, please. All right, now we've got uh, some gangster guns, like uh, Tommy guns, I suppose. And uh, b black and white, so there's no racism there. Here's a combat 9mm pistol. A combat M16 with flashlight, all right. Can't say they're skimping out on that one, huh? And a pistol holster, holster and belt set. Wild Western, so. Always gotta have one of those. And then we've got toddler costumes over here. Little Cowboy, Rawhide Renegade, alrighty. Little Indian Brave. I don't know why they can't just put the T's in that word, but whatever. Native American Boy, Fireman. Oh, that's pretty cute, actually. Um, Firefighter, completely different from Fireman in every way, shape, and form. No resemblance whatsoever. Um, and there's a third Fireman costume. Holy crap. All right. Doctors, of course. Nothing better than having your kids perform surgery. And if the first one wasn't enough, there's a second Rapsta costume. Rapsta 2, maybe? I don't know. Rapsta number 2. Uh, he's got the G on his... Uh, helmet there, mask, or let's try that again, uh, hat, that's what it is, a hat, yes. You want your kids to grow, to gain pounds instantly, well, never, never fear. And then we got SWAT, and of course, banana, so you can go as like Banana Man or something, cool. And who doesn't want to be co a condiment? I said condiment, perverts, Keep, get your mind out of the gutter. Um, mustard, and of course, Ketchup with one comes the other. Um, Delta Force. That's always nice, huh? And of course, Power Rangers. We've got the Black Ranger, the Blue Ranger, and the Red Ranger. Um, and then dual sword, double ninja swords here. And a uh, bullet belt. So you'll never run out of ammo. That's, that's handy. Um... And then we got policeman, and then police. So we got policeman one word or two words, and then policeman one words. Completely different in every way, shape, and form. Again, got busted. Uh oh. Poor kid, he got busted. And convict boy. Darn it. I really don't know if these are win or fail. We've got Super Mario costumes. The concept is win, but I don't know how good they are really, and why they use such long, skinny people to represent War or Mario. What the heck? Mario's a fat, pudgy little guy, and they use these skinny, tall guys. Uh, but anyways, we got Mario and we got Luigi. Um, and then, oh, Toy Story. These are cool. We got Jesse here. 
and of course Woody. And uh, I guess that's supposed to be Woody as well for toddlers. And then we've got the army men here. And of course the little alien guys. So that's cool.